Crusader fans to another edition of the Valpo Coaches Show. Joining me today, women's soccer head coach, John Maravich. Coach Maravich, thanks for joining me. Great to be back. It's uh, going into postseason time for you guys. The uh, league tournament starting up this week. And uh, first, let's go back last match of the regular season. You ended up knowing you were in the tournament before you played Green Bay last Saturday night. Ended up playing them to a 1-1 draw, but it was more a game that you had to manage to make sure you were set going into the tournament, it seemed like. Then one, I mean, you were going out trying to win the game, but there were other concerns over the course of the game. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, we, we, you know, we have to deal with yellow cards that can turn into red cards that you get during the game. So a couple of players got yellow cards in that game, so we had to immediately get them off the, off the park. So that way, we didn't run into any trouble. You know, obviously, the, the postseason is, is the most important time of the year, and so we wanted to make sure we handled uh, our business correctly there. And then also, you have kids that have some injuries that, uh, you know, do you really want to risk them to, to further injure themselves in a situation where, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's more important that we're at 100% health or at least as close to as healthy as we can be, you know, come the postseason. But what was great about it, and it's just been like the story the whole year, you know, it's the next woman up and uh, our kids stepped up and they were able to, to have a good performance that night. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, we hit a crossbar or a post and, and it's the difference. But at the end of the day, our, our, our focus really is, is right now just completely on the, on the postseason and, and the most exciting time of the year. You clinched the fifth seed for the league tournament actually while you were in the middle of your game based on other results, which meant that you're going back on the road to Detroit, Detroit the fourth seed for the tournament. Obviously a game you just played a couple weeks ago, second trip up there in a three week span. What do you look to get out from that first contest? What can you take from that, despite it being a two nothing loss, that you can turn around and show the girls, say, hey, you know, this is what we need to do better. This is what we need to focus on to make sure we come out of Tuesday afternoon's match with the right result. Well, you know, I think that the biggest part is that you have some familiarity with their players and how they're playing this particular year. Uh, I don't think we put, played poorly in the first match. Uh, we just we just, we just, just gave up a, one corner kick in the first half against when we were defending with the wind in our face. And uh, they were, you know, it was fortunate they got themselves a goal, which really changes the complexion of the game, you know, at that point. So I think for us, what we take away is just let's really sit back and take a look at how we defended as a group, and then you know what was successful for us in the attack in the second half. We outshot them eight to two. So can we build upon that, and can we take those things that we did extremely well in the second half and just put that into effect uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon? I think that the biggest thing for us is really just to go in with the amount of confidence. It's it's a new season. We talked really in the coaches shows back in the beginning of the year. We really broke this down into four different seasons. The first five nine conference, the second five nine conference, conference season, and then postseason championships. And so right now, it's all focused on that. We can't change any of those other things that, that has gone on, but we put ourselves in a situation to, to uh, compete for a Horizon League championship, and that's what's exciting. So our whole focus really just has to be, you know, on being prepared for, for Tuesday and getting the right mindset ready for the players to, to go out and have a great afternoon. Is there any difference preparation-wise going into a league tournament game where you know going in, hey, if we lose this, we're done, our season's over, then there is regular season games? Or do you as a coaching staff try to make it as normal as possible for the team? Try to make it as normal as possible, but I think as players, I think what you have going on with players is that they're going to always think about, you know, what, what, what the outcome could be and what that could mean. So what we really got to focus on is just get them so locked into what's happening within the lines during that 90 minutes that if they work really hard there, that the results kind of take care of themselves. And if they, they dwell too much on the other stuff, then it's going to affect their performance. So, you know, we don't really address it any differently than we would a regular season game, but everybody just knows. And so we're at that point of the year where it's, we want to win a championship, so it's exciting. Everybody's fired up. Everybody's really excited to get on the road and, 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 and start, this, uh, start this tournament. But at the same time, we, want, we need to maintain a level of focus and, and composure as we go into our preparation and do the match. All right, that game Tuesday afternoon, 1 p.m. Central Time against Detroit. It's up in Detroit if you can't make it up there. Live stats and live video via the Horizon League Network. Links for those available at ValpoAthletics.com. Coach Maravich, thank you for taking a few minutes. Uh, good luck Tuesday and hopefully good luck Friday and Sunday as well. well as hopefully you guys advance through the tournament. Hopefully and we appreciate all the support. You can follow the team on social media, as always, at Valpo WSO on Twitter, Valpo Women's Soccer on Facebook, and for all your athletics news, Valpo Athletics on Facebook and at Valpo Athletics on Twitter.
Until next time, I'm Aaron Levitt, Go Crusaders. Thank you.